Bradley McIntosh has paid tribute to band member Paul Cattermole after the S Club 7 singer's death at 46. The pop legend was found dead at his home in Dorset on April 6 and there are no suspicious circumstances around his death. Bradley posted a throwback video of the pair on Instagram and wrote in the caption, I can't believe I'm writing this right now but as many of you know we lost our dear friend, fellow band member and big brother Paul last week. Thank you for the good times the memories and big love. We had so many great adventures together. I know you're not going to be with us on the next one in the physical but you'll always be with us in our hearts and thoughts. Gonna miss you. Love you bro. R.I.P. After Paul's death was confirmed, his S Club 7 bandmates Hannah Spirit, Rachel Stevens, Tina Barrett, John Lee, Joe O'Meara and Bradley posted a tribute on social media. They wrote, We are truly devastated by the passing of our brother Paul. There are no words to describe the deep sadness and loss we all feel. We were so lucky to have had him in our lives and are thankful for the amazing memories we have. He will be so deeply missed by each and every one of us. We ask that you respect the privacy of his family and of the band at this time. As well as Bradley, Rachel, Tina and Joe have paid tribute to their beloved band member. Paul died six months before S Club's 25th anniversary tour, with the singer reportedly telling a fan he was buzzing for the gigs. A fan told The Sun, I was a big fan of S Club back in the day. I knew Paul lived in the area and he was very happy and chatty when I introduced myself. He told me the band were going back on tour and couldn't hide how excited he was about it. He was buzzing when he said, I'm going to smash it, it will be brilliant. The next day the singer was confirmed dead hours after being found at his flat in Wareham, Dorset. Bandmates have vowed to go ahead with the tour in his memory, with a source telling The Mirror, the band are still too upset to talk about this properly but from the little that's been said, they want the tour to go ahead. Paul joined S Club 7 at the age of 22 after falling in love with the stage at the National Youth Music Theatre. It was here that he met fellow S Club star Hannah, who he later dated. The group? who sold more than 10 million albums and had four number one singles, went on to win Brit Awards for Best British Breakthrough Act and their 2001 single Don't Stop Movin'. Other top hits included Reach, S Club Party, Never Had a Dream Come True and Have You Ever. Oh